Hello, this is Tom Morello. I am the Night Watchman, and this is the Night Watchman Speaks, broadcast from a secret location somewhere in Los Angeles, California, in a car. Um, Night Watchman Speaks, very simply, you ask questions via nightwatchmanmusic.com, and I answer them. We carry on a rapport that way, once a week. Question number one. Hi, Tom. Did you paint or otherwise embellish the Arm the Homeless guitar? If so, can you discuss its meaning? I think I see some sheep, so I'm guessing that it's related to your first band. And also, what did you use to do it? I have... Some of that is well spotted. Uh, on my Arm the Homeless guitar are two things. One are hippopotamuses. Small, cute, little fluffy, cloud-like hippopotamuses. Uh, because that's the only... Literally the only thing I can draw. And so... From the time I was a youth, I would draw hippos. I can draw them facing one way. You'll notice all the hippos face one way on the guitar. Um, and then it is embellished with the words Arm the Homeless as well, which I wrote on the guitar prior to a raid show at the Whiskey A Go-Go in 1992. Um, because I thought it should say that on there. And it kind of toughens up the fluffy hippo theme, don't you think? All right, question number two. Hi, Tom. I'm a 16-year-old Canadian guitarist vocalist, and watching videos of you playing Occupy LA in Madison, Wisconsin labor protests really hit home with me. I think what you're doing is really cool, and I can feel that you're doing it straight from your heart. Anyways, every time I sit down to write a song, I get nowhere with it. I want to be writing songs that have real value to me, but right now I'm not finding that easy to do, and I want to organize a band and start performing original music. I was wondering what kind of advice you might have for someone like me. Those are two different questions. One is, you. the question is, you want to write songs that are meaningful to you and you're having trouble doing it. Well, that, I mean, the, as a start, the simplest, the simplest advice I can give you as a lyricist is to just write your life. Just write what feels true to you, right? The things that, about the things that affect you personally. Don't try to write poetry. Don't try to write... You know, don't try to write Dylan or Chaucer. Just write about the things that affect you on a daily basis or the things that you think about, the things that you worry about, the things that you hope for. Um, and then you can choose to make them rhyme or not. Uh, Wayne Kramer, a good friend of mine who's the guitarist of the great Detroit band, the MC5, who's also a very talented singer, songwriter, and activist in his own right, and he's with me in Madison uh, for the protest there, he, age 15 years ago, gave me some great advice. He, was, he said that everybody should write songs. And whether or not you can sing, whether or not you like, everybody's got something to say, and expressing them via music or via, like, word poems that become music uh, is a great way for people to both get, a, get, get something off their chest, but also to communicate with the world, the world in a way that's very different from the way you do in normal discourse, I mean, conversations or whatever, so... Uh, I say good luck to you and your music and your band. Uh, with, with regards to forming a band, try to find people that you think you'd like to hang out with in 20 years. That's my advice to you. <laughs> Sometimes it works out that way, and then you're cool. Uh, uh, question number three. When making Night Watchman songs, is it always the same process, such as lyrical content first and then the instrumental, instrumental layer? And how do you go about picking a topic? Uh, it... The lyrics and the music almost always happen separately for me. You know, very rarely will I come up with sort of a melody in my head and then sort of record that and later fit lyrics to it. Um, as far as coming up with a topic, I never sit down and go, like, what topic would I like to write about? It always is purely out of the ether. Like, uh, like I find riff writing and music writing comes very pretty easily to me, um, but lyric writing is something that's it just either happens or it doesn't happen. And over the course of time, I hope to have my antenna up high enough to catch whatever comes by that, you know, resonates true with me um, uh, and feels like it's sort of an accurate expression of what, you know, I'm thinking or what the what, what some character is that I want to express in a, in a song. Uh, so sometimes, like, for example, now I do have a, a lot of new Night Watchman songs percolating, uh, and often they're kind of segregated into some lyrical ideas, uh, and then musical ideas that are wholly independent of that, uh, some chorus hooks and music and things like that, which I will at one po some point sit down and try to merge. All right, uh, next question. Will we ever get to hear an electric sheep track for old time's sake? The electric sheep, as you may or may not know, was my high school band uh, in Libertyville, Illinois, that uh, also featured Adam Jones, the guitar player of Tool. Adam was the bass player of the Electric Sheep and a very talented musician, even back then, as 
as a teenager. Uh, will you ever get to hear Electric Sheep track? Uh, they exist in analog form somewhere. There's a couple of real... We, it, it, there are a couple of demo tapes that would clearly that would make clear why we were why we were the least popular band in our high school. Uh, so those may not be coming out anytime soon. Uh, but uh, th there's a Canadian all girl dominatrix punk rock band called Nice Cat that covered a, an Electric Sheep song called Rat Race. That you probably will be able to find on YouTube. Rat Race by Nice Cats, and their version of it is probably better than our version of it. So there you have it. Anyway, thank you very much for your thoughtful questions. Uh, go to nightwatchmanmusic.com to ask questions in the future, and I will try to answer them here. Thanks again. Adios, people.